we want to look at this example uh, where we have a five card uh, hand being dealt to us and we want to calculate the probability that all five cards dealt to us are hearts. So we would call this a, a flush in a typical uh, five card poker hand. Now since we have a situation where each of the cards being dealt from the uh, 52 card deck is equal likely we're going to be able to use the rule that states that the probability of an event, E, is going to be the number of outcomes in E over the number of outcomes in the sample space. And that's because, again, it's equal likely outcomes in a 52 card deck. And so I'm just going to kind of define what E is to us. E is the event that all five cards Our hearts. So in order to find these numbers we're going to have to look at how many different ways that we can get five hearts in uh, our five card uh, hand and our sample space is going to be all the possible ways that we can simply draw five cards in this 52 card deck and so both of these are combination problems. So we're going to take a look at the number of outcomes in E and remember that there are in a 52 card deck uh, 13 hearts so the number in E is going to be uh, 13 choose 5 so the number of ways that we can get 5 hearts out of 13 is a combination problem so we have 13 choose 5 or uh, 13 choose 5 as our notation and we calculate this with our uh, combination formula. It says take 13 factorial and we divide it by 5 factorial times 13 minus 5 factorial. Rewrote that to make it look a little nicer. So calculating this, we have in our numerator uh, 13 factorial. I'm going to expand this until I get the largest factorial in the denominator which one simplified that would be 8 factorial. So I have 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 factorial all over 5 factorial. So I'm going to expand that 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. So there's my 5 factorial and multiplying it by 8 factorial. We see that the 8 factorials cancel out and now we're just left to reducing this by canceling out again uh, like factors and so we have uh, 5 divides into well 5 times 2 is 10 so that takes care of the 10 and then we also have uh, 3 times 4 is 12 so on top I'm left with 13 times 11 times 9 And let me put this on a portion of the screen that we can see. 13 times 11 times 9. We also need to now find the number of outcomes in our sample space. So the number in S, this is the sample space of drawing five cards. So we have that uh, the number in S, our sample space, is going to be 52 choose 5 cards, another combination uh, counting. So again using our combination formula I'm going to take uh, the 52 factorial over 5 factorial times 52 minus 5 factorial. Simplifying on top we're going to expand 52 times 51 times 50 and you expand until you get that largest factorial in the denominator which would be in our case uh, 47 factorial. I'm going to expand the 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 or 5 factorial here 
and this simplified to 47 factorial. So we can cancel out the 47 factorials and now we're left with reducing everything else down. So we have, uh, let's see, 5 times 2 that's 10 again so that can go into the 50 5 times. Then we have 3 times 4 is 12 and I notice you know 12 goes into 48 4 times. So I'm left with, and I'm going to leave this in, in this expanded form, is that 52 choose 5 is 52 times 51 times 49 times 5 times 4. So now back to our original question is what is that probability that we get all five cards? I take the number of outcomes in E, 13 times 11 times 9, and divide that by the number of outcomes in S, which we just found to be this product. So the probability that we could draw all five cards is hearts. Is the number of outcomes in E over the number of outcomes in S. And we're just left reducing this down to lowest terms. So we start looking at seeing do we have any common factors that we can cancel out. And we see that um, when we're looking at the, the 9 term here, we know that, let's see, well I'm going to take a step back here, looking at 13, we know 13 can divide into 52 4 times. And now looking at 11, 11 doesn't divide into any of these terms. Now I look at the 9, and the 9 we know is going to be divisible by 3, and 51 when divided by 3 is 17. So on top, 3 times 11 is 33, and on the bottom when you take this product, uh, let's say we have 4 times 5 times 49 times 17 times 4, Put that into our calculator, 66,640. We have got our probability, and when we approximate this in our calculator, 0 0.000495.